Today we're here with uh, Joshua, one week post stem cell therapy, uh, his spinal cord, spinal fluid. Uh, Josh, you want to kind of tell your story? What, what happened? Um, I was shot. Um, at the wrong place at the wrong time. And it hit me in my spine at a T8. It kind of hit me in my shoulder and traveled down. Um, and I've been coming here to you guys. Well, how long ago was that? Um, what's today's date? November 7th? 11 months ago. Yeah. 11, 11 months, months ago. And so we're hoping with the possibility of stem cell therapy to regain function. And what, what happened today? What did you notice so far one week post stem cell? As I've been trying to move, I try to move. And I guess when I'm tight my stomach up to try to pull it, I'm getting some type of movement. So you're getting movement now. You yeah, can't, I'm doing that. You couldn't do that before. So you couldn't do that for prior to stem cell, and now one week later, you're able to have movement. Yeah, movement. Amen yes. to that. That's yes. is what we're hoping for. And so we didn't know really what was going to happen. We just hoped for the best. And this is pretty exciting already, one week post. So that, it's pretty exciting news. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tear up right now, actually. Um, Dad, what do you got to say about that? Uh, I'm amazed. He could not, I moved him around, picked him up. He was um, paralyzed from waist down. And I never seen, the doctor say no matter what I do, um, he will have no feeling in his lower body. And I have touched his legs many times over the year, right at a year. And now to the touch of my hand, not pinching or grabbing or scratching, just the touch, I got movement in his legs. And I, they say well, that would never happen. They say that would never happen. So from him to be able to feel me to touch and to move to the touch, I got to put it on stem cells. That's right. the only thing we did different. And the positive thinking, that positive mind saying positive that mindset. he's going to do it. Yeah. So uh, we're going to keep you updated on his progress over the next uh, course of the year, a couple of years. We're going to be doing more, more therapy and more treatment and uh, hoping to help this young man uh, get a good recovery, uh, best that we can to live a normal life. So we'll keep you posted and uh, this is just wonderful news today. Thanks.